Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Frank coming in with another audio commentary. This is set to Samsung Con versus NBC Hero. We have Jangbi versus Jaehoon, a Protoss in Jangbi, and a something that I don't remember in Jaehoon. I'm gonna see when the match starts. I'm a noob. Yeehaw and booyah. Let's go. Um, we saw a great match from uh, Firebat Hero in set one. Uh, not to spoil it, but if you're watching this match of mine, then you should have watched the first one. So. Yeah, your fault. Anyways, uh, yeah, great match coming out of Firebat Hero, uh, just slowly creeping in. And uh, here is Jangmi and Jaehoon uh, apparently having some words with each other, just kind of laughing it up. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, <laughs> gonna see, I guess, a friendly match here. They're both smiling. Uh, hopefully, we see some uh, Dark Archons or something crazy coming out of uh, Jangmi. Yeah, I'm making bad predictions here based on their smiles. I'm a poker player, so I try to read into everything. But uh, anyways, we're uh, playing on Medusa here. We have Jaehoon in red, spawning as the red Protoss. So he is a Protoss player. Um, and we have Jangbi spawning in purple at the bottom position. <coughs> so, oh, okay. Apparently, just based on the face here, I believe that is Hero, Jaehoon. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but he looks like a guy named Hero. Probably it's a video quality, though, messing with me. Um, yeah, so you're going to see an interesting matchup here. Protoss versus Protoss on this map is... Uh, you usually want to tech to Reavers fairly quickly because uh, you can Reaver drop all over the place. You can Reaver drop two bases just uh, by moving a couple hexes across the screen, and uh, you can harass the probes on two different bases. Um, <coughs> So, uh, yeah, Reavers are a really good choice on this. I don't expect to see DTs um, because scouting is uh, pretty easy to get off on this map, especially with the uh, temples that you can slip through. So uh, very hard to hide tech unless you're going to do it in the uh, alternate positions or uh, hidden position or something like that, which is viable, but uh, at this pro level, uh, I don't expect to see it. So, yeah, probably going to see a one gate into cybernetics core, into uh, robotics facility, into reavers, into dark archons, into probably controlling a uh, kakaroo or something. Something like that I just expect to see, and I'm just joking. I need to stop being so sarcastic. I am a jerk. But uh, no, no kakaroos, no dark archons. Going to probably see some reaver tech. That's uh, what I expect. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, personally on this map I'm just going to go into a little bit of a rant here I, I hate seeing Protoss versus Terran because uh, you cannot build turrets in the middle of the ground hate it, hate it so much uh, but Protoss versus Protoss uh, should be interesting um, uh, as far as these two players go I do expect Jangbi to take this one down um, Jangbi has been playing unrealistically good lately um, and he's just a very solid player I don't consider him necessarily a creative player but he is solid as all hell and uh, yeah back to this bloody screen oh, Jesus. once I get better quality I'm not gonna mind it so much but when the screens are small like that uh, I just can't stand it and Jangbi doing a little bit of a ritual dance there probably gonna summon a Balrog or something like that uh, <laughs> doing a little circular dance uh, just kidding there on the Balrog of course uh, that's Warcraft 3 uh, no it's not it's Lord of the Rings um, <laughs> I got my support here my tech support in uh, Mooney big shout out to Mooney um, so yeah anti-manor pylon going down there for Jehun uh, Jehun just now sending out a scout uh, pretty late scout uh, not sure what he's doing there maybe he's just sending it to mine uh, high-fiving the zealot on the way by and uh, this uh, Zealot is chasing down this probe. Uh, run probe. I love that trick, sending the probe to the other side of the minerals. When you play noobs, they're like, WTF, mate. How you send your probe through my probe? And you're just like, yeah, you're a noob. And then you win. But uh, anyways, um, uh, just scouting going on. And the Zealot now in for uh, Jangbi, but a Dragoon out. So uh, that Zealot's probably going to go down, which uh, actually might set him behind because uh, he didn't really get off any uh, harassment. Disrupted mining on those top three mineral patches, but uh, nothing real special. Oh, and a probe getting lost there. Uh, not uh, not good from Jehoon. Oh, and another probe. Holy cow. So uh, pretty fair trade there. Uh, if Jehoon could have got away with uh Keeping all his probes, he probably would have taken the lead there just by uh, by means of the 100 mineral deficit, but uh, falling a little bit behind now. And Jangby still has that probe alive. Two dragons out now, double team being the probe. Real fair, Jaehoon, real fair. Couldn't even show off. 1v1 that thing. Cheap, cheap hacks. 
WTF hacks. Uh, Jehun running his probe around now, running into the far right. Uh, <coughs> what I would like to see one of these days is uh, an early scout. Yeah, like this. Yeah, see, beautiful. Way to go. Um, is for you to for one of the players to send their scouting probe away, leading the early dragoon away, and send all their forces in. Even though it's just one dragoon away, it will give them the upper hand in the early game. So I would love to see that. And it looks like Jangby is looking to... No, he's just going to set down a pylon to uh, scout when Reavers are coming in. So he does anticipate uh, Reavers coming in. But a push coming in here. Um, not so sure it's going to work out too well. I think uh, Jangby does... Ha oh, and range is upgrading for uh, Jehun. So uh, I think both players are just upgrading range now. I'm not sure why he would want to push in right now. Um, yeah, not such a good idea. <laughs> Uh, gonna pick off that Z, gonna try to pick off that Z-Lot. Oh, but losing a Dragoon, good micro, good micro, running away, uh, just taking one hit on that Dragoon, or half a hit, really. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, no, no. Um, in the meantime, one of those, a uh, little bit of a dull part here while the robotics facility is going up. Uh, can anybody explain to me why it is that, uh, it seems like a lot of these matchups are mirror matchups. A lot of the matchups that I've done lately, uh, there was, uh, Protoss vs. Protoss, the last one was TVT, this is PvP. I had a ZVZ my first match, and, uh, yeah, it's just been a lot of mirror matchups. If uh, someone can explain to me why that is, I know there's some rule where you have to... Oh, and it looks like there might be hidden tech there, or just scouting pylon. I'm not sure where that pylon was. That. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so explain to me why that is. There's a rule I know where the each team has to play every race within the first four matches or something like that, but why they end up being mirror matches. Maybe the map uh, favors certain races, so they put them in and both teams. I don't know. Somebody, if you could explain it to me, that would be great. Um, <coughs> anyhow, uh, just some uh, dragoon hunting going down here from Jangby. Nothing too special. Forces rallied. <laughs> Blo blocking off those mineral patches. Going to create a wall to those mineral patches. Does not want Jangby to harass his minerals. And uh, getting Jangby getting a probe picked off there. Just kind of checking out where uh, his uh, Jehu's forces are. Um, neither player expanding. Both player going Reaver first. Um... And I think Jehun also has his observatory, observatory coming up. Yep, observatory is coming up, uh, but he does have his uh, uh, support bay up. So, yeah, both players going for Reavers like I expected on this map. Uh, nope, no expansion going down for Jehun. Uh, wrong again. Just going to put down some pylons to scout when the Reaver drop is coming in. Um, <coughs> so, pretty much in this matchup, what it comes down to is... <coughs> who has better Reaver Shuttle control because it's it's not even about the Dragoon count. Uh, both players know that they're going to have the exact same Dragoon count as the other player, but uh, it just comes down to who's going to... Uh, who can get off better Reaver hits, who can uh, keep the Reavers alive along with the Shuttle the longest. And, uh, yeah, it pretty much comes down to a micro battle. Never used to be that way. It used to be pretty, well, uh, a macro heavy game. Uh, a lot of high Templars, a lot of things like that, but uh, these days it's all about the Reavers, and here comes the Reaver for Jehun. Uh, Jangby also has a Reaver of his own. Reaver shot, gonna go off, gonna go, oh, Jangby's Reaver doesn't have any scarabs built, though. Oh, no, he puts him way behind. Oh, not getting any scarabs off, but he's still somehow coming out pretty even here. Oh, my goodness, and Jangby takes it down without any scarabs being built. Just goes to show you how good of a player he is for that Dragoon Micro, or, or how bad of a player, uh, uh, Jehun is. I want to call him Hero. I think that's Hero, but uh, yeah, not really a bad player, but uh, just how good of a player really Jangby is. Uh, his shuttle uh, reaver control.